Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see, how to create the expanding animated toggle search box using jQuery. See whenever we click the search button, the animated search box pops in and out. And whenever we try to enter the email address, we can see the position of the label changing and font size decreasing. For code, you can visit my CodePen profile. I'll drop the link to the code below this video. Feel free to visit my CodePen profile. CodePen is an online editor, where we can edit our HTML pages and preview the result instantly. We can save our projects in it. Let's get started with HTML. First, create the wrapper div element, within that create the BTN div element and inside BTN div element, add the font awesome search icon. Here I am going to use the font awesome icons, font awesome is an open source site for free icons. For using the font awesome icons, first, we need to include the CDN link in the head section of the HTML document. First, open font awesome website then navigates to icons. Then search for icons whichever you want, including that element into your HTML structure. For the time saving purpose, I had opened the icons whichever I want, before starting this video. Just see how I'm going to include the icons into HTML structure. Let's open the HTML structure in the browser. See the icons without CSS stylings. Now let's get started with CSS by including its link in the head section of the HTML document. For this demo, I'm using Roboto font family. Now start writing the CSS by setting the margin and padding values of all default HTML elements to zero. Use the user select property, to prevent the user from selecting and copying the text on the page. Set the font family background color, and color to the body. For placing any HTML element in the center, one of the easiest ways is to make the element's position value absolute and its parent value to a relative. Now set the top and left properties values to 50%. But we can see that element is not exactly placed in the center. Now use translate method of the transform property to place the element exactly in the middle by setting translate x and translate e values to negative minus 50%. Now style the BTN development, by setting 440 pixels of width, 1 pixel of the white border. And place the icon in the center, by using the text align property. And give the 10 pixels of bottom margin. Now style the search icon, by using the FA class. Change its color and increase the font size. Now let's get back to the HTML structure, by creating form development. And within that consider label and input field with unique ID and class. Add the break tag between the label and input field. Now style the form div element, by setting 440 pixels of the width, 1 pixels of the white border.
and set the 100 pixels of the height. Use the box sizing property, so that the padding values occupy the space within the specified width and height. Set the 20 pixels of the left and right padding. Use the relative position, so that we can place its child elements accordingly. Style the input file by using input class. Set the 400 pixels of the width and make its border to zero. Set the transparent background, so that we can customize the input field better. Remove the blue border using the outline property. Use the box sizing property, so that the padding values occupy the space within the specified width and height. Now set the two pixels of the border bottom. Change the color, increase the font size and use the transition property to the smooth effect. Now let's style the label by using the search ID. By changing color and setting the relative position, so that by using the top and left properties, we can place the label, wherever we want. Now let's hide the label and input field. First, set the label's opacity value to 0. And by using the scale method of the transform property, set the scale method value to 0. Use the transform origin property, which determines the origin of the input field. Let's dive into the jQuery part, by including the jQuery Google CDN link in the head section of the HTML page below the CSS link. I'll drop the jQuery Google CDN link below this video, check it out. Open the script tags. Now whenever we click the search icon, toggle active class should be added to the input and label fields. By targeting the input and toggle active class, set the scale method value to 1. Now whenever someone clicks the search icon, active toggle class should be added to the input field. Similarly, whenever someone clicks the search icon, 
active toggle class should be added to the label field. Now by targeting the search ID and toggle active class, set the opacity value to the 1. See here, whenever we select the input field, the position of the label is shifting. For achieving this, let's get back to the jQuery. Now whenever we focus the input field, move class should be added to the label field. Let's target the search ID with toggle move class, using the top and left properties, place them accordingly, and decrease the font size for a nice effect. Whenever we focus out the input field, move class should be removed. Finally, remove the white borders around the input and form fields. Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed the video, so don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ask me anything in the comments section. See you in another video.